Good morning guys, this is Sean Schlesinger with Silver Seas Yachts and today we're going to take a look at Maritimo's X60. This is a new model that they released in May in Australia of 2018. This is making its debut at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show in November 2018. And we have two of them actually sitting here side by side at Miami. Today we're going to focus on the beach club option, standard layout. Stepping on board, we've got our hydraulic swim platform. And this is our beach club. So you've got a big fold down hatch with a window in it. Very nice set of stairs leading down. Our entertainment sitter. You can option this with wine coolers, kegerators. We've got a refrigerator in this one with an ice maker. You've got a nice ensuite. And this is where you can kick back, enjoy a little bit of uh, an evening tied up at the dock here. Maritimo also offers the option for a queen size Murphy bed, Murphy style bed to fold out from right here. It'll come out and it'll still leave you enough room to walk to the bathroom here and create a nice extra bunk room. Stepping into the beach club, we have stairs that lead up to the interior of the boat. And to port, we have our engine room. This is a stand-up walk-in engine room. Plenty of headroom in here. As you can see, I'm standing in the hole here. And at six foot three, just touching my head on the ceiling in here. Looking around the engine room in this boat, everything is very well labeled. You got the common zone and generator. This has the optional D13 1000 horsepower Volvos in it. Comes standard with the 800s. Nice sight lines on your fuel tanks. That's where your Seakeeper would go. Everything is balanced perfectly on this boat and the boat was built around the placement of all the heavy weight of the engines and the fuel tanks. You even have a mechanics hatch to keep them out of the boat. Stepping up our stairs to the interior of the boat, you'll see our galley and our cockpit here. These are sliding glass doors in this option due to the arrangement of this L-shaped sofa back here, which creates more additional seating in the cockpit. We have the barbecue. The fridge underneath here. Some more storage. Rear docking station, controls. This is another option just so you guys can see it with the bifold doors in the cockpit and the table in front of your aft seat in this boat. Personally, I'd probably grab a folding table that would fold out here, have two extra seats, and you got seating for eight here. As Maritimos are known, you've got great storage in their cabinets here. It's all melee appliances, fridges, wine, cooktops, beautiful countertops, dishwasher. We've got our TV here. This actually pulls out, swings around, so that everybody sitting in your salon area can see this. One of the things very nice in this boat, you've got a nice sunroof over the galley. Creates a great amount of headroom in here and it brings in a lot of natural light. We've got our huge opening windows. There's a forward sunroof option as well. And once again, these windows are just completely impressive in here. We've got a very nice fold out table here, plenty of seating for everybody. We actually have some built in storage for plates. Twin Garmin 22 inch screens here, Volvo Penta Autopilot, 
basically what you're going to expect at a home of a vessel like this. You get some great sight lines throughout the boat. Because of the balance of this boat, it runs very, very flat. Stepping down four steps to starboard, we have a bunk room with crossover bunks. It's kind of a nice use of the space here. Into our VIP suite, we've got an angled bed here in the forward. This is really nice because it allows you've got full walk around access to make the bed, get into bed. And that's something that a lot of people really appreciate. Plus, you've got tons of storage underneath the bed. And it's open, so you can put your dog bed in there, and the dog has a nice, cool place to sleep. You got some nice hanging closet space. Little TV, mirror, makeup counter. Very, very nice VIP room. Stepping through an ensuite door, you got a nice head. Huge shower. And it's got two doors to get in. There's your skylights. Hatches. Stepping down another three steps into our master. We've got the uh, washer dryer combo in here. Into our master stateroom. has the makeup counter area, desk, day bed, nice queen size bed in here. Still have a full beam master with our sink out here. Shower to the aft and toilet to the forward. Got some nice shelving and drawer space in here. And cedar lining closet hanging space. We get a king size bed in this Regency. You'll notice they've removed the head in here creating a lot more storage. You get your day bed there, still the makeup counter. And then you have two steps up into your master bath. So this takes the place of that bunk room that we just looked at, and this is on the Regency Suite Master. Not many 60-foot boats with a king-size bed in it. A nice option for somebody that's going to be spending a lot of time on here. All of this down here, and then you still have that whole other stateroom to the aft, which is pretty impressive. So this can be a four stateroom boat, if you want it to be. Maritimo is known for their deep well walk arounds, nice and wide. Going up to the bow of the boat here. We've got the chase lounges, folding princess pads, as I call them. We've got our windlass here. Anything coming up on your chain is going to drain right back out the front of the boat. Heavy duty hardware, stainless steel throughout. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions.